Good morning and welcome to Fort Zeller World Edition. Once again, this is your principal, Mr. Lin, and I hope that you had a wonderful Monday yesterday. Today is Tuesday, March 17th, 2020. We don't have a day, but guess what? It is still a great day for a great day, and I hope that you had an opportunity or many opportunities to learn in your new classroom, which is the world. Um, your classroom is your house, or if you're outside, it's the world that is around you. Think about the lessons you've learned yesterday and think about how you learned those lessons because those lessons came about because you were paying attention, you were mindful of your present place and time. And remember, a great way to get ourselves ready for this upcoming day is to once again be mindful of where we are right here, right now, to, to recognize and notice and acknowledge the blessings that are around us. So let's go ahead and take a mindful minute um, Simply notice to start your body, how earth is pulling you down with gravity and how there are surfaces like my chair, or if you're sitting on the floor, the floor that is holding you up. Notice how your body is being supported by that surface. Simply notice and be still. And now let's go ahead and take that first breath in through our nose, filling our belly full of air and out through our mouths nice and slowly, giving yourself permission to relax your shoulders. Once again, let's do that again. In and out. Now expand your awareness of what is around you. Notice, for instance, because I am outside in my new office, my new classroom, I hear children playing in the distance. I also hear the birds chipping, chirping away nearby. What do you hear? What do you have to work hard to notice with your ears? And what is really loud and obvious? And also notice too what you smell and what you feel against your skin, such as your clothing or the cool breeze against my face. Now as you notice your surroundings, turn your spotlight inwards towards your body. For instance, notice your toes and the bottom of your feet and your ankles. How about your legs? When was the last time you noticed them or your knees, your hips even? Your stomach as it expands as you breathe in and deflates as you breathe out slowly as your shoulders relax. Notice your chest. Notice your shoulders and your back. Your arms, perhaps your elbow, your wrists, your hands, all 10 fingers. Notice too your neck and your face and your head. And finally, take into account your emotions. What feelings do you have with you today? Anger, excitement, anxiety and nervousness. Remember those feelings are real and they exist right here and now so it makes sense to acknowledge and recognize them and you know be okay with them. Some feelings are hard to sit with but I encourage you to sit with them. Let them tell you what they need to tell you because if you push back on them so often they'll push right back at you. So sit with those feelings. Let them know that kindly you know that they're trying to tell you something. Now, what I don't want you to do is think about all of those reasons from the past or the future that are creating your feelings. Let those feelings just simply be. And if your mind, by the way, wanders off, be kind to yourself once again and gently bring your thoughts back to this current place, this place and time, this present moment. Breathe in and breathe out. Now in a moment you'll hear a bell or a chime. Listen to it as it gets quieter and quieter. And when you can't hear it anymore, you may then open your eyes and awaken to the world that is around you. Welcome to a new day right here at the fort where you are loved, where you are cared for, and where we want you to succeed. 
Whether you have a great day or not is ultimately your choice. So choose wisely, work at it, and enjoy the rewards. And boys and girls, I have to apologize. I forgot to um, conduct the Pledge of Allegiance. So I don't know if you have a flag around you. I don't happen to have a flag right here in my backyard. But let's go ahead and think about our flag, think about our country, and think about the fact that many people are staying home today and that we wish them well because we are fellow countrymen and women. So let's go ahead and uh, put our right hand against our chest. And let's go ahead and say the Pledge of Allegiance. If you want to stand, you can. I'm going to stay seated simply because um, the camera is pointed at me right now. Let's go ahead and begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you again for joining me in the Mindful Minute. I really mean this, and I really want every single one of you children to hear this. You are loved. We love you. On behalf of our staff, we love you. And on behalf of our staff, we also care about you. Even though we can't see each other right now, I want you to know that we care about every bit and part of you as well as everything that you care about. And finally, we want you to succeed. We're rooting for you, and that's one of the great things about being here in Elko, especially here at Fort Zeller. You know you have a whole army of adults rooting for you, grown-ups rooting for you, wanting for you to be successful. Because once again, we love you and we care about you. Now, last but not least, I want to remind us about the uh, three B's. Um, this is our opportunity to expand on being ready and respectful and responsible. Yesterday I encouraged you to think about what it means, what it looks like to be respectful to yourself and to others. And I hope that you tried a few things and you're proud of yourself. Same thing with being responsible with yourself, your body parts, the words that come out of your mouth, and also being responsible for others. So hopefully you had an opportunity to also take care and be responsible for others. And finally, being ready. If you learn something, you were ready. You were ready to learn. But also, as many of our teachers are beginning to share, let's also be ready for anything. And being ready for anything means preparing for anything. So uh, with a lot of the germs going around, I want to remind you once again to wash your hands. If you can't remember, we're talking 20 seconds, that's um, singing happy birthday twice. Or think about your favorite song, sing through that whole song, put soap on your, on your hand, uh, especially when you are dirty, and, and make sure um, that you wash every part of your hand. Also, make sure uh, if you have to cough, you cough into your, your elbow. Uh, I, I saw many of you guys doing this in school recently, so I'm really proud of you guys. Don't lose that habit. This is a good habit. And finally, think about your emotions. Think about all the things that um, may be bothering you even. And be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. Practice that sort of recognition. If you're feeling frustrated, that it's okay to feel frustrated, and it's okay to talk about it. Talk to your family, talk to your, uh, your family members, talk to your parents, and yes, even talk to um, some friends as well. Um, I have to say, I wish I could see you guys once again, but I know I can't. So I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow for our next morning announcement. Have a wonderful Tuesday.